Hello there, how are you? Um, this is a video that I made to accompany uh, lecture one of sustainability modeling. Uh, so welcome to the class. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Fernando Miralles Willem, uh, and uh, I'm a professor uh, in the Department of Atmospheric and Ocean Science at University of Maryland. Um, I've also worked as a professor at Florida International University. Um, I've uh, worked as a lead specialist at the Inter-American Development Bank um, I've had a, about a 20 plus year career mixed up between um, academia, industry, and, um, and governmental agencies. Um, and my core area of expertise is modeling. So this is a class uh, that I really like to teach. Uh, it's a class that I've um, been thinking about for, for years. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about that as well. Uh, let's see. Um, a little bit of the, about, the, you know, about this class itself. Uh, and I, I like to tell people, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, I was born in the 60s, uh, so I sort of came of age um, intellectually uh, when the environmental movement around the world in the 1980s or so sort of uh, coming around. We were becoming aware um, more and more seriously uh, about big environmental problems. Um, this was before, you know, before climate change and before some of the issues that we're seeing today. But at that time, it was more about pollution. Um, it was more a little bit of more, a little bit more conscious conscious uh, about um, the effect of population on the environment and, and natural resources. And um, there was a particular study that I'll, I'll start talking about today, and that we'll see also in the class. Uh, that was the uh, the limits to growth uh, study uh, that came out in the early '70s, and I sort of caught up with it in college, and I sort of made me. You know, fall in love with uh, with uh, what was known, what was not known at the time as sustainability, which is known today as sustainability. Um, and oh, and oh, but I, I sort of approached it from the angle, uh, quantitative angle, which led me to modeling as an area of expertise and interest. Um, so I've worked for about 20 years in a, in a variety of things um, that have to do with the environment and with sustainability issues uh, and uh, with modeling at its core. Uh, and a couple of years ago. Um, there was a book that came out uh, that we'll actually uh, look look at in this class, um, and um, and uh, that had to do with um, limits to growth revisited. That was the title of the of the book by Italian professor Ugo Bardi, and I sort of read the book and I said, "Wow, this would make a great class," you know. And I've been thinking about doing this for a while. So that's the result of this class. I'm teaching this class for the second time. The first time was uh, spring of 2013. Uh, I've made some tweaks to the content a little bit of, and I'll be making some tweaks to the lecture. Um, but in, in essence, what I wanted to do with this class is something really, really new. Um, so a couple of things about the logistics. We will be meet, meeting virtually. That means uh, like this, like uh, you're meeting me now. Uh, it's not synchronous. Um, so we're not, we're not gonna be meeting in class. Uh, so this is gonna be a completely online class, but not as the traditional online classes are, which are more, a little bit more, um, uh, they have a little bit of more structure or a different structure. Um, the idea of this class is to try a new subject, you know, sustainability modeling um, in a new format. Uh, and uh, so in essence, we're sort of doing an experiment. So I hope you're game for that. I have not seen a class like this uh, anywhere taught. So I actually welcome you to <laughs> to look around. I did a lot of research. I look at academic institutions throughout the world. Look at uh, so I haven't seen anything that does essentially applying modeling concepts to sustainability issues. So that's the reason I developed this class, and I wanted to do it. You know, because it was a new class, try something completely new. So if all goes well, and I think it will, uh, we won't be me meeting in person. It's not that I don't want to meet you in person. It's really that um, it's probably more efficient uh, for the learning process that we do do it this way. Uh, we won't exchange a piece of paper, okay? And all of our discussions and, 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 and exchanges will have a record, okay? Because we, we're gonna be using social media, as I explained in the lecture, to uh, exchange materials, to post discussions, um, and that's really a new era of, of uh, sharing knowledge and information, and there's, there's a lot of technologies out there to do so, and I wanna make use of these technologies. Um, and um, you know we may you know, it's, it's this is pretty small group of people it's about nine students um, registered for the class uh, so it's small enough that we could meet in person or can, we can even meet um, 
synchronously, I mean basically all at the same time. Um, and we may arrange that, but um, that I don't have any plans to do that at this point. Um, so I encourage you to be engaged. I, I encourage you to um, to really seize the opportunity to, to learn in, in this in this format. I think uh, I think you're going to find it that, that's um, that's very effective. We're going to be using a Facebook for um, essentially uh, all exchange of, of discussion and. And information, okay, and we're going to be using Dropbox as a media uh, to store, you know, store files, and I'll, I'll give you detailed instructions about that. Um, but I really encourage you to get engaged. Uh, I really encourage you to watch the class materials, to um, post discussions, to contribute. You know, I, I want this to be also a lot about you guys contributing, and it's, it's going to make the the class a lot richer. And um, that's pretty much it. I think you'll, uh, after a couple lectures, you'll sort of get the swing of it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's meant to be uh, an enjoyable experience. I, I know I enjoyed a lot when I did this last year, and I plan to do even better this time around. So, welcome to the class, uh, and um, I will uh, see you or not see you. Okay. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good week.